and my final video for today. Really, I hope I can spit this one out and get it done because I don't have a setup anywhere near this wonderful at home to be able to record there. This is my first Valentine's journal I had started and neither of the ones I'm gonna show you today are finished, but they will be up for sale. They have very minimal things to be added, most of all a closure and to be sewn together. So this is um, a digital that I printed on vintage paper and some vintage lace. This is Dresden trim here and the swallow and digitals that I put. This is a heavy piece of um, parchment card stock that I backed in another digital to give it some weight and then added another piece there so that it would give it um, some more strength. Just some fun little digitals. There's a little music piece. She's at a piano, so I thought that was appropriate. Um, digital lace, some vintage lace. I just love that image. Perfect for Valentine's Day, the little cupids resting. Um, in a frame of sorts on a piece of printed doily, tea stain doily. It's a digital, but it's, um, it's wonderful. Everything will be in the listing below because at the top of my head, I can't remember anything right now. So um, this is something I'm still working on. It's um, This came from Paper Cameo from one of her Valentine's kits. This came from chapter one, I believe, and I printed multiples on one page. They're, um, they're just beautiful and I wanted to make little folders out of them and I'll be tucking little things in there as well but um, that'll be part of this. It's another little booklet, lots of writing space in this one. Um, some vintage music that came from a book that was gifted to me by a dear friend who was in our Facebook group who passed away. And after she passed, her husband was going through her crafting space and um, was looking for a book that she had shared part of with me before and said, I just found these books that were in Sharon's um, crafting supplies and I knew she'd want you to have them and I treasured them so I'm only using little bits and pieces out of them but they're they're wonderful little music books um, it's a piece of painters masking tape paper um, some dyed vintage typewriter paper and obviously that will be stitched together into a little booklet and this is from an old book and this is a digital and another frame with a little Valentine's greeting. A French book page with a washi, faux washi tape. I um, can't remember what I'm calling it right now. I don't know. Anyways, this one has to be stitched together. More digitals, more vintage lace. I just love these digital laces. I use them all the time. I hope you won't get bored with them because I don't. Um, from Paper Cameo's kit, uh, another piece of the vintage music paper. This is, I think, from Ruby and Pearl's Valentine's kit. This, I'm not sure where it came from. I'll research it and put it in the notes below. This will be another little journal spot um, with a piece of book page to strengthen the, the typewriter paper because it's, it's a little on the thinner side. But it's filled with little pieces of paper and things that you can print out. This is, I did, this is my first attempt at avocado dyeing paper. Not great, but it's fine. So, um, I love the image on the back of that. I thought it was really pretty, but it didn't work the other way around. So, I think this is from Heather at Ruby and Pearl as well. Um, and this, I'm not sure where this came from. I just made a tag slash writing board with some pieces. Another piece, this is an envelope from the paper cameo from her Valentine's kit. I'm not gonna take it out because I won't get it back together. Another paper cameo, this is from one of her other kits and I reduced the size and made it into a tiny little envelope that will house something Valentine related. Another little piece of Dresden trim and um, another paper cameo. This one's backed in a digital that is, they were dinner napkins that someone scanned and they're just gorgeous. And I love the color too. So back that. Then more digitals and lace 
And then this is one of the little glassine envelopes that I've been making, and it has a little Valentine's thing and another piece from Paper Cameo, those two. And this one, not sure where it came from. But that's the first one that I'm almost finished. It's just so close. If you're interested, you can reach me at the email in the description. Second one that is almost done as well, except for the closure. This is mostly paper cameo again. This is, um, I printed this on vellum. Um, as I was finishing this up last night, for the most part, I found an old book that I have and I just started glancing at it and realizing that it had, it was a love story and how perfect for Valentine's Day. So I clipped out some little sayings. This one is, she smiled at him, her most beautiful smile. So <laughs> it belonged in here, obviously. Um, digitals from various people. Again, the, the basis of this book is Paper Cameo and her Valentine um, collection. This was, um, again, not sure exactly what it came from, but I printed it on the old typewriter paper and it just came out beautifully. I mean, it really almost looks original. My husband, who is a really big detail person said the thing he likes most about it is the fact that it's not even on the bottom. This is a piece of vintage lace that I hand dyed here. It goes around the back side of that page. This came from a piece of lace that my friend Michelle at Boho Crafty Chica gave me. I clipped it off the main piece of lace. It's a very, very old piece, beautiful stitch to a, a piece of stiff net. And these other digitals, again, they'll be in the notes below more of paper cameo this not sure again where it came from but i will be doing journals with these um beautiful scanned antique linens they're just oh my gosh the detail in them they came out so well this is also this is first of all original music from schumann it's called romance perfect for a valentine's journal this is from Paper Cameo. I just added a little embellishment from someone else there. Paper Cameo. Um, this is from some old embroidery books. Michelle and I collected a ton of them and we've been using them in a lot of our, um, our work. But we have to treat the pages first, so we haven't done that for a while. <laughs> On a perfect morning in late May, mere words are inadequate is the line on this one. And again, the back side of the embroidery. These are vintage books. He drew her to him. Leslie had felt positively fragile. Oh my gosh, such passionate language. <laughs> and then these are just all digitals, obviously, from um, Paper Cameo again, and other pieces. I don't know where they came from, but I printed them on vintage paper. Always gives them a more authentic feel. I made the glassine envelope out of um, paper masking, masking paper, painter's masking paper, and sprayed it with, um, like I would do a glassine envelope, sprayed it with clear Krylon and um, both sides, and then made it into an envelope. This is, I love that little image so much, I accidentally put two of them in the same book. <laughs> This is um, from another digital seller, a collection of antique valentines and a piece of antique lace that I fussy cut. And then two little um, vintage digitals. Here, I just put these on. Um, they had a white strip here and I wanted to cover it. So the same emotions went hand in hand. And um, it's just all geared towards Valentine's. Love sends a little gift of roses. Another little booklet that I have to stitch together for journaling space. Um, it's not a, I mean, it's obviously two people on a date, whether they're married or whatever. <laughs> it's still lovely. I love this image. Just very, um, just printed it on linen paper, I think I did. And another paper cameo piece. And then these tabs all um, says adoring each other for better or worse. <laughs> and that's what marriage is like. Adoring each other no matter what you go through. And here's that image again. 
that I accidentally duplicated, but I loved it so much I didn't care. And there's two more pieces that will be clipped on here. This is another paper cameo piece that came out of one of the Valentine's kits and a um, digital image from somewhere else that I will note below and another digital from somewhere else. Those will be clipped on. And then this just says, and adored her. This page has a little booklet. These were created with, again, Sharon Horth's um, French, French book covers that I reduced in size and has just a collection of little papers inside the back side of that one piece of the lace. And then I just, I really love this. It's more paper cameo here. This, I don't know where it came from, but I will find out. But uh, isn't that beautiful? Just got so many feminine romantic images on it. That will go in here somehow. And then this. And then this beautiful digital of a piece of antique needlework. It's also from Paper Cameo's kit. And on the back it says, finally they went on in search of flowers. And then the, the vellum cover. It will be wrapped in a piece of lace or cupro or silk or something, some type of beautiful ribbon. And I do have a piece of heart jewelry that will be going on this for the life of me. Couldn't remember to bring it this morning because I had a mishap with my foot as I was packing up to come and so I missed a lot of things. But thank you for watching again. Susie at Alabaster Flask um, would love it if you'd um, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing and we'll see you again soon. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye.